Keyboarding posture. What is wrong with this picture? Do you practice the proper keyboarding posture? Is it hard to just sit up, right? Proper sitting position for keyboarding. Good sitting posture at your workstation means shoulders are relaxed, your feet are flat on the floor, and you can sit up straight to do your work. Proper distance from the keyboard. This is known as hand span. Hand span tells you how far you should sit away from your keyboard. If you sit too far away, you will not be able to reach the keys above the home row. If you sit too close, you will not be able to reach the keys below the home row. Feet flat on the floor. They help balance your body for keyboarding. Keep your feet supported on the floor or on a footrest to reduce pressure on your lower back. Sitting up straight. By doing this, it helps you keep your spine straight and comfortable as well as provide balance. Elbows in. Keeping your elbows close to your sides prevents your fingers from coming off home room. A supportive and adjustable chair so that you can set the height to rest your feet flat on the floor. A lot of back problems normally starts from bad posture or an overdue position, like sitting at your desk or slouch. Bad sitting posture can cause pain not only in the back but also in the neck and shoulders. It also puts you at a higher risk of developing problems such as headache and joints pain. These are the example of bad sitting posture. Correct hand position for keyboarding. Proper hand placement is very important in learning to type. There is much more to proper placement than just resting your fingers on the correct keys. Proper placement of the monitor and keyboard and good body posture can help improve typing speed as well as reduce fatigue. Elbows in. Keep your elbows close to your sides prevents your fingers from coming off home row. When your fingers come off home row, you then have trouble striking the other keys from home position. Proper wrist position. Don't raise your palms so much that your wrists arc. Maintaining proper wrist position helps avoid fatigue in your hands. If your wrist rests on your keyboard, this will cause you to make typing mistakes. Fingers and cord. While typing, you need to keep your fingers and cord on the home row keys. 
When you reach for a key on the top or bottom row, you need to remember to bring your fingers back to the home row position. Correct hand position for keyboarding. Place your right index fingers on letter J, while your left index finger on letter F. Letters F and J are called bump or anchor keys. They are the only keys with bumps. Once your fingers are on the bump keys, each of the other fingers gets a key. Your left fingers should be on the A, S, E, F, and your right fingers should be on the J, K, L. Now, both your thumbs go on on the space bar. Your hands should be relaxed and your fingers just a little curved. Now, let's try this typing challenge. Turn on your computer. Click the Start button. Choose All Programs, then Accessories. Click the Note button. Blindfold your eyes. Type the following characters. Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye!